Good evening and welcome to a Team Idris vlog. Um, so I own a Diablo farm bike, which is a diesel farm bike, and it's a fairly nasty bit of kit. They went bankrupt and there's no spares available at all. There's nowhere to go. So they've used various sort of ducks and dives to make this thing work when they built it. Um, this is an absolutely normal trailer hub and they've bolted a bracket to it with the wheel nuts. One bracket comes off here and that's the radius link. The shock absorber fits in here and this is the brake caliper lever. So fairly straightforward. Um, this drive shaft goes to the spool diff. Uh, it's actually the way that the wheel is prevented from moving sideways. Uh, right, next bearing. So it's an inch shaft and on the very, very end it's machined down to 25mm. Right, so the plastic cap on the end here, that would be what you see on your trailer, was what they'd used as a seal. And that had all let the bearing get absolutely rusty, so the bearing was actually turning on the shaft, not in a bearing itself. The interesting part is that they then fabricated a hub so they've used the taper lock system and that was just taper locked on the end which is a fairly good system and fairly bad it's simple but the only thing that's holding it all together is this taper sort of collet thing which goes on the end great for agricultural stuff um, muck spreaders are absolutely covered in these things they're absolutely brilliant but Holding a wheel on, that seems a bit cruel. The bit that stops the whole lot coming flying off the end is just this fancy looking plate. If that doesn't hold it, hopefully that does. This is also the method for adjusting the wheel bearing. As that comes up, pushes it all along, it compresses the bearings and that's how you adjust them. And then you lock the hub up. Yeah, it's a bit nasty. There's a bit of a tube on there as a spacer. The problem's been for me around the garden, because this thing is absolutely wrecked, um, so it's never doing any speed work again, is that the spool rear diff means that it really chews up the grass. So as that rotates in the hub, which is fixed to the bike suspension, the wheel on here is fixed and I needed that to rotate. So I've added in another bearing set. So I'll just bring that across a bit. What I've done is I've taken another trailer hub, welded that inside, it's got its own grease nipple, there's the bearings. I've taken the ends off it, both sides, so it's narrower, set it all up as assembly, and then welded around the inside to weld the two together. So the discs bolted on, these fingers, that plate, and the trailer hub are now one. So that pops on like that. Right, so I can now put this part back in, but in a different way. It's going to become my dog clutch. So when I put a bolt in here, the half shaft will be locked to the hub. So I'll have like two wheel drive on the back or I can engage the four wheel drive. If I'm just driving around the garden and I don't want to chew the grass up, I'm just going to run one wheel drive. So this drive shaft will be free to turn in the hub and the wheel will be free to turn uh, on its own and still maintain the brake disc in the right part. So, yeah, hubs as bearing carriers, a bit nasty, but it's growing on me. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make the clutch on the end. So it's one of those where you have a spring and some dogs on it. So you pull it out, turn it, and then clunk it goes in and drives. And that'll do me. That'll work all right. Yeah. Bodgy but successful. Thanks for watching.